Good morning, first of all, and I would like to welcome to, to all of you to Bucharest and Romania. It's a country and a city where always the microphone is a special problem, but uh, I hope we can solve it uh, before I uh, have my short uh, speech. It's always the greatest challenge for me to have a good speech very early in the morning. And uh, I count on the idea that not all, not all of you have waken up. And uh, if I make some mistakes, I have the whole day to, to make it better. And uh, to be very honest, uh, I did not speak, I did not sleep very well last night because after this conference, I will have an important meeting with our international partners, the European Commission, the IMF, and the World Bank. And uh, uh, I had to prepare myself for this meeting. But uh, before that, I would just say that uh, we are very pleased and happy to have this conference here in Bucharest. I think that uh, it's, uh, it's the right time and the right place to, to talk about uh, the finance and investment environment and uh, I'll do my best uh, to take advantage of uh, the good parts of the Romanian success story and uh, also to speak a little bit about the future and the challenges and the risks that we are confronted with. Uh, of course I am never uh, tired of mentioning um, the good results of the last year, and I hope that uh, the international financial institution, but also the private business environment will agree with me that uh, 2013 has been uh, uh, a year with better results than uh, we expected in terms of economic growth, which is uh, among the highest in, in Europe among the uh, reaching all our targets in terms of public deficit, expenses, investments, and, uh, and uh, also our image as a country in front of the international private investors and the financial private markets have radically improved. And uh, finally, after so many years of struggling, we have also succeeded to have an upgrading of our uh, country uh, level and image and uh, all these signs should be should be something a good point of depart for uh, for the next uh, month and years i would just give few few figures i'm also preparing for the later meeting and uh, i would stress that 2012 from the state-owned on enterprises, Romania had more or less a loss of 85 mil, uh, million euros. Is this correct, Minister? 85 million euros loss from the state-owned uh, enterprises. 2013, we had more than 300 million profit, which means that uh, better management and better approach to the state-owned enterprises it's something that can be done even in Romania but uh, in the other uh, hand I would say that the most important uh, structural reforms especially in the energy sector I would say that we have succeeded to have successful IPOs from gas which is the biggest national producers transgas transelectrica and during these days uh, I can be I hope I can be optimistic about electrica IPO and uh, all the private money that we have attracted for, this, uh, for the state-owned enterprises are going to remain in the companies for uh, new investments in the infrastructures. They are not going directly to the budget for the daily expenses, but uh, all of them, they have remained in the, uh, in the companies for, uh, uh, for uh, new investments. So I would say that, uh, um, and uh, I like to say that, that uh, I am a, a, a social democratic prime minister who likes privatizations and profits of the state-owned uh, enterprises and uh, a budgetary discipline. Of course, I will always avoid the term austerity, but uh, I will never avoid the term of 
budgetary discipline and the fact that uh, we can have uh, a good management of the public budget in the same time promoting social measures. And I understand very well that just a performant, a competitive economy can, su can sustain social measures. We cannot start with the social measures and then to have a competitive economy. The first step is uh, it's, uh, the one that we, we have taken. So based on this, I would just say that uh, we have tried to keep a social balance, a political balance. It's also something that in Romania is not always easy. But uh, when you mentioned that I took the office more than two years ago, I said, oh my god, when, when all this uh, time has passed already. So uh, it's good to have also political stability and predictability and a good relationship with, uh, with the business uh, community has been uh, uh, practically uh, set up with having for the first time a clear agreement with uh, a broad coalition of private companies which is called uh, uh, the Coalition for the Development of Romania. And uh, I would say that that has been the most effective partnership between Romanian government and the Romanian private uh, uh, business environment because we have set up rules which are very important and are based on, on the two key issues, stability and predictability. Something that we have always wanted to have and never succeeded in, uh, in the country. I would say that based on these good figures, and also on the geostrategic situation, because uh, for Romania, the fact that we are here, the eastern border of NATO and the European Union, the fact that uh, uh, Russia is uh, closing and closing to Romania, uh, every morning I wake up and I look on the television to see if they are not closer than the day before. And, uh, and uh, this, of course, are a big risk big risk for uh, Moldova, which is the most special partner of Romania, but also for Ukraine or for the region. And all these risks are also opportunities for us to be faster in implementing, first of all, a clear reform uh, on the energy sector. I strongly believe as a politician now, not uh, speaking to the business community, but that will also affect you that for Romania the most important fight in the, in the years to come is to become independent in terms of energy. And uh, being independent, being uh, able to use its own resources and also sometimes to be able to cover the needs of at least Moldova, if not the other neighbors, that is, that's a very important uh, factor for our development of the future. And we have the resources. We have our uh, uh, energy resources, which I think it's uh, the richest mix of uh, energy in the region. We have hydropower, coal power, nuclear power, and also renewable energy. Also, we have very promising results of the onshore and offshore exploration for the, for the gas resources. And uh, of course, respecting the highest standards of uh, environment regulation. We have also accepted the idea to search for unconventional resources of uh, gas and uh, other kinds of energy. So uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of political goal, to be independent in terms of energy, it's the most important one. Why is this important for the economy? Because I would say that the biggest danger for our economy is uh, it's the rise of the prices of energy. And, uh, and uh, here we have worked together with the business uh, environment in order to keep a sustainable uh, agenda of liberalization of the energy prices. And uh, uh, this is one of the, maybe the most difficult issue now, right now on the table, how we can have a real free transparent market of, of energy without destroying the industry, the economy, and uh, having just a, a simple rise of the prices without having a clear competition and uh, transparent uh, access to the energy. 
So I would, I would say that both political and economic uh, uh, targets are so much connected because we cannot develop ourselves without having uh, resources of energy, uh, depending all the time on, uh, on Russian imports. Uh, but in the same time, the economy, the industry, cannot be competitive if we rise the prices every day and every month, uh, just following an agenda which does not uh, uh, keep contact with the reality. So this is one of the this is one of the biggest challenge for the country. And uh, if we are smart, clever, and uh, realistic enough to find the right tuning between. Uh, this uh, uh, reform of the and liberalization of the energy market and the need to keep the economy competitive based on the energy prices, I think this, this is one and the most important uh, battle to win. The second one, and I will finish because uh, I would prefer to listen to, to the governor of the central bank in the last five years as leader of the opposition, then prime minister, I have preferred to listen to the governor and to the people speaking about the economy and then implementing as much as a politician can implement from the good advices that I have received. So the second one is how we boost the creation of new jobs. Because, uh, all right, all the figures look very well. The deficit is decreasing. Um, the economic growth is there. but. Uh, uh, one of the most important topic in Romania and the battle which has not been won up to now is how we create new jobs and how we put those new jobs on the, on the white market. We call it the black market, the jobs that are created and are paid without the, the taxes and the legal contracts and the, the normal, the, the legal uh, part of, of, the new, of creating new jobs. And here, all the private investors, they have told us, the government, the political leadership, that uh, Romania is having a very competitive uh, fiscal uh, uh, legislation. It's the flat tax, 16% flat tax, something that, as a social democrat, I cannot say I love very much, but it's still, it's still effective in creating and boosting the growth. But uh, our biggest problem is the high level of labor taxation. That's why uh, it's a sort of uh, um, general political uh, uh, goal, how we can decrease the taxation of the labor cost, uh, trying to reach two important goals. One is to encourage the private companies to have business plan and to create new jobs in the future, knowing that they will pay less the, uh, for creating new jobs. And the second one is to convince the black market of jobs to become legal and to be on the, on the legal side paying taxes and being uh, uh, competitive, even, even declaring everything. I think that this is the second challenge and uh, we, will, uh, we will try to find the reasonable and sustainable solutions to have a lower uh, taxation of the labor cost. And, uh, and if we succeed with this second one, then uh, the next prime minister will have a much easier job than myself and uh, will uh, find an economy which can provide to the budget all the resources in order to implement the social reforms which I have dreamt about and I have to delay until the economy is really stable on the positive track. So uh, I do not have very complicated strategies. I'm just trying to implement and to apply everything that has been proved to be efficient. And uh, I hope that uh, Romania under a social democratic government is the most pro-business, pro-privatization and pro-private uh, business environment government in the region and if we succeed this paradox uh, sometime approach I think that the next conference that you will organize here will find a country which is continuing this excellent uh, uh, track of the last year 
and then Romania will be able, together with Poland, because I, I think that Poland is a positive example to follow for Romania, will continue to be a strong democratic, but also prosperous democracy, and a very good model for the other countries in the region, which should see Romania and Poland as a successful story, and should convince their own population that being a member of the European Union, adopting the values of demo democracy, the rule of law, the free uh, uh, markets and the, and the transparency of the economy are the right choices. And then uh, we will be able to say that uh, Romania is closing the gap between the old Europe and the new Europe, and we can be at least as competitive as uh, our partners in Europe. That would be our uh, simple strategy. It's much simpler to, to express it than to put it in practice but I'm rather confident, and the fact that you are here, that means that uh, for the first time in the last eight years, the business community is ready to listen to Romania and is ready to, to have trust again in our country. Once again, thank you very much for organizing this conference, and uh, I will uh, listen for the governor, and then I will go to my office to make the homeworks for the big uh, meeting with the international uh, financing institution and the European Commission in order to convince them that uh, uh, having a competitive energy market and the lower taxation of the labor cost will make Romania more prosperous and more stable. Thank you very much.